What up, Composing Gloves here. Today we're going to talk about audio versus acoustics. What is the difference between these two terms? It's a pretty simple thing. You know what? I can use my bigger screen for this one. What is the difference between these two things? Whoops. Nope, I don't want to. I wanted to do that. Okay, so the difference is acoustic, it's in your room. It bounces around. It's compression waves. It's uh, actual physical sound that hits you. It's the, it's the compression thing from the first videos. Audio is whenever it turns into voltage, so it gets into your computer. Oh, well, you record it through your microphone. Like, So here's a microphone, and it's going through a wire. Let me see if I can get my wire. It's kind of like tucked away. But it goes through the wire attached to my microphone, and as a result, it is now audio. It's voltage. It represents the acoustics in the room. So this is called transduction. So I have a microphone. It's moving back and forth at a rate that is similar to my voice. Through there's a coil moving around a magnet. This creates a uh, flux, and as a result, it's called electromagnetic induction. As a result, you get a varying voltage wave in the wire that is proportional to my voice's compression, the, vo the compression waves my voice is making. And so, whenever something gets transformed from one form of energy to another similar form of energy, an analogic, an analogous form of energy, you get what's called transduction or tra it's called the transducer so a microphone's a transducer and so it allows us to take this change it as voltage or we could send it into the computer so we can send it into a digital converter and it will convert it to numbers and then we can put it in our computer this is all still audio and we mess with this this is specifically digital audio and we can do all these changes and then we can send it to our speakers well, then we have to convert it back to voltage. We send it back to our speakers. Our speakers vibrate as a result of the voltage. It's basically a backwards microphone. You could use a speaker as a microphone if you wanted. And then it comes out as sound pressure waves because it's pushing air. And as a result, we hear it. And then our brain, you know, takes it and transduces it into neural impulses. Well, our brain, our ears, we have all those things in our ears that move and, you know, all that jazz. So it's important to understand this idea of audio versus acoustics because you just need to know what you're talking about when you talk about it. So when people say it's got great acoustics, that means the room sounds good. If they say it's got great audio, um, that just means it captures and generally transduces the source very well into a respectable thing that you can manipulate in the voltage world or in the digital world through your various pieces of gear. So that's the difference between audio versus acoustics. And that's pretty much all you really need to know for this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe. And have a blessed day.